Hi guys again, Simon here. So this is a carry-on um, from the last video I did about Stefan. And I'm referring to talking to the girls again in the bar late afternoon, five-ish in the afternoon when I'm sat eating with the girls. And I must point out that I only had about 10 girls in the bar and a couple of freelancers would come in. So when I'm asking the girls, it's not hundreds and thousands of girls. To quit. It's just six, ten girls. So it's a small, just a small amount of girls. But today's story is about uh, age first. A lot of people have emailed me, um, messaged me, and some in the comments as well, asking about different age groups, reactions the girls give them, and quite a few asking, I'm now 50, 60, 70, even 80, would the girls be interested in me? So it's it's quite a few people, quite a few emails, quite a few questions, same question. I can't believe this, I start a video in and another aeroplane. Oh, annoying. <laughs> um, took me through me then, lost me the train of thought. <coughs> so, I can remember this guy when I f we first opened Soy 7. This guy was over 70. He just seemed to, we'd finished building, we opened the bar, and from day one he appeared. Lunchtime, came in, always, pretty much always a vest, white vest, shorts, socks, I can't remember the colour of socks, training shoes. And he was 70 plus, very tanned, um, possibly German, Austrian, not sure, uh, very fit. Every day, come in lunchtime, orange juice and lemonade, I can remember it, orange juice and lemonade. We'd go to the front of the bar where we had uh, chrome bars at the front and a little sort of tabletop. You could sit, drink on the little tabletop, looking onto the soy. Mind you, three metres the other side, there's a wall there, so not much to look at. But it was the traffic coming down the soy and people all the time. He polite, said hello to the girls, and but told them not interested, just sit and people watch. And he did this for every day that I was there, the year and nine months. And when I departed, he was still there. Lovely guy, but it made me think age. Because um, the girls seemed to be interested, but he wasn't, so. Uh, hmm. So I remember sitting down um, several occasions as well, same question. And the first time I sat down, I can remember there was about six girls, seven girls, and I asked a question and half the girls said one thing and the other half complete opposite and it threw me a bit. So I was saying to them, what's your favourite age of a customer? And the first girls, the girls that have been in the industry, in the bar scene for let's say a year. They all said, and they pretty much agreed, 50 up, 60 up. One of them I remember saying, pat's it, pat's it, 80. But 50, 60 up. And then the other girls were saying, 20, 25. Now I thought, well, why the difference? And I sort of interrogated them. The girls who'd been in the scene for a while all said older guys were their favorite customers. Um, and now I thought, again, I assumed that a lot of girls, their dream is to get a foreigner, let's say 30 up, there's a chance that, that they're going to hit it off with a foreigner, get married and leave the country, and go back to the foreigner's country. So I thought, you know, they're going to say 30, 35 up. But now 50, 60, 80, these first ones said. And I said, why? And they said, because um, they're gentle, they're friendlier, they treat the girls treat, uh, much better, with respect, they don't rub it in their faces of what the job they do, and there's a fair chance they've got a bit more money than a youngster, say. So I thought, well, yeah, that's okay. You know, they're, they're not going to knock the girls around, they're not going to cause them problems, and they, they like that. So the other side of girls, they wanted 2025, 
they were new to the scene and they were all saying they wanted fun excitement um, more horizontal aerobics action and so I analyzed that and I'm thinking okay they've come from say a farm or a small town they've come for the excitement the lights of the city and everything that goes with it and at first it, that's what they want the excitement the young guy the six-pack everything all wonderful they're not thinking of the business side of it like Apple does so I don't know, a couple of days, week passed, there was more girls than one afternoon and Apple was there and I asked the same questions and again the girls that had been in the scene longer all said 50, 60, 70 and the other girls young, 20, 25 guys and I asked Apple, come on Apple, you know, you're the expert, you're the professional, what do you say and Apple actually said um, 40 up is going to have more money and she preferred guys 50 55 60 um, and she put it down to in black and white less work easier going friendlier happier times um, and then they I thought oh, that's fair enough exactly the same the younger ones you know fun and I even asked a friend ran her friend's bar around in Soy 8 his girls were all pretty new and they all went for the young guys so from that you can determine that if you're 50 plus and the girls are attracted to you they're more than likely going to be the girls that have been in the scene a bit longer um, if they make a beeline for you which I think is a fair assumption and then the other thing I, I was asking um, is size and I, again I've had emails and messages about guys that are overweight um, very much overweight medium you know different weights but larger than what they perceive as the average weight and I asked all the girls this and uh, even Apple as well they all preferred <laughs> a guy that's out of shape or overweight and that was just down to I well I thought it was the horizontal aerobics but no the larger the guy the more chance he's going to eat more food and take them for better food <laughs> yeah <laughs> they were thinking of their stomachs um, they did joke about being squashed by a guy but they were like yeah no problem any size don't care big guy like food we like food going to be good restaurant <laughs> I suppose it makes sense and it sort of comes back to the scoring system I did that video um, you know how the girls score things and I, and I said to the girls many times you know the ideal guys and all the rest of it but the perfect guy I, I suppose I I never actually asked what the perfect guy was from everything I've learned and, and gone through in life I would guess you know I said about the scoring system the white socks the sandals the money, the, the clothes, but probably the, the perfect guy is someone like I was at the time, you know, I was, uh, what, f just under 40, and, no, maybe not me, but someone maybe 40-ish, had a bit of money, was divorced, bit beaten up in life, and wanted a fresh start, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Is, is there a perfect guy, maybe not, Maybe not. I've had a couple of ladies um, email me as well. I won't say any names, but they've asked questions about uh, Thai guys. I've got no experience. I can't really answer that one for them. There are bars that um, guys are working at doing the same job as the girls. It's just a case you're going to have to find someone with a bit more knowledge than myself on that. So I'm not answering those ones. Hmm. Might incriminate myself. Hmm. Yeah, no, no. Not sure. So that age and that size and the last one we covered, anatomy. A um, couple of emails about unshaven and um, obscure things. I don't think the girls really care about your, as long as your hygiene's good 
Um, I don't think they care about beards or no beards and moustaches and things like that. You will find one of the things about Thailand is the Thai girls shower. So, and the, because of the weather, they shower. They're so clean, hygienic. Really are. Um, take lots of showers every day. Yeah. So now I've got to try and wrap my brain over the next few weeks of other little things I've asked the girls and uh, some other customers I can remember, some of the characters. And I'm going to try and put some stories together for you on those ones. So that was just a short video, follow on from the last one. And it, hopefully it's answered a couple of your questions. I hope so. And uh, that's it really for today. So, very small video. I will catch you on the next one. I think in two days I start putting these basic videos up, so watch out for those. And uh, comments, I'm still, look, there's less comments as there were. Now we've sort of, sort of leveled out on the channel. I'm getting a bit more time to look at the comments and try and answer your comments. So uh, if I've missed it, put it back through again and I'll uh, get to you. Or email me, as I said, landofsmilesthailand at gmail.com. Um, I always see the emails because it even comes through to my phone. So I can do that when I'm working in between jobs. So that's probably easier. Okay. I will catch you on the next video. Bye for now.